President. Senator from Georgia. Mr. President, I would ask that quorum call be dispensed with. That objection. Mr. President, I rise today to pay tribute to the director of the National Counterterrorism Center, Matt Olson. Matt has announced his intention to leave his position later this year after serving as director of NCTC for over three years. Matt's one of the best and brightest public servants with whom I have had the pleasure to work with. And I want to take a couple of minutes just to thank him for a job well done. As vice chairman of the Senate Select Committee on Intelligence, I've had the opportunity to work very closely with Matt as he served in a number of key positions in the intelligence community. Regardless of his position, Matt has served with integrity and has provided sound, honest counsel, which has benefited not only me, but numerous other members of this body. At NCTC, Matt has overseen several key initiatives that have enhanced NCTC's ability to discover and prevent terrorist attacks, like the pursuit group that was put in place after the failed attack on Northwest Flight 253. Matt has been a strong advocate for NCTC's mission, striving to make sure that NCTC has the right people and the right data to get the job done. He has done his part and has kept the center acutely focused on terrorist threats to the homeland. I am certainly glad that I supported his nomination and can attest that Matt is a man of his word. Before joining NCTC, Matt served as the National Security Agency's General Counsel and as an Associate Deputy Attorney General at the Department of Justice. Matt worked on several national security issues at DOJ, but quickly became an expert on the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act and its implementation. Matt has an excellent perspective on the role of surveillance in keeping this country safe, and I hope he'll participate in the public debate on this issue even after his departure from government service. I'd like to say special thanks, too, to his wife, Fern, and his three children, Elizabeth, Nate, and Will. Matt has missed many nights and weekends with his family as the director of NCTC and throughout his public service career. I'm sure these sacrifices have been difficult at times, but our nation is better off for it. I know that Matt has spent every day of his tenure as director focusing on how best to neutralize the increasing threat posed by Al-Qaeda and its affiliates. Matt's family should be very proud of his outstanding achievements and his dedicated efforts to protect our national security. I understand that Matt plans to return to teaching and spend some well-deserved free time with his family. His presence will be missed at NCTC as well as here on the Hill. To Matt and his family, thanks again and best wishes for whatever the future holds. Mr. President, I yield the floor and I suggest the absence of a quorum.